Hi guys, welcome back. So today we're gonna to be talking about content calendars. I'm just gonna walk you through what I'm doing right now. This can change for sure, it's definitely evolved. But if you are a beginner social media manager or you're just looking for a very simple content calendar that you can share with your clients, they can comment on things, they can improve everything, they can see all the content, captions, all that stuff, this video is for you. I got this idea because previously I was just using Google Docs basically, so this is what it looks like and this is a fantastic way it's really simple really easy there isn't anything wrong with that i've seen a lot of people use it this way the problem is there's no calendar view it can get pretty disorganized pretty quickly it's hard to put in comments and to get a notification about those comments and you can't really have a feed view or anything and usually the client has to scroll and for you to go through all the content of like okay now's the time to post like it could be better it could be a lot better but i wanted to find find different ways and just test different kinds of content calendars and I stumbled upon Notion which I'm sure a lot of you have already seen as I was searching okay what kind of template what kind of content calendar am I looking for I was really looking for two things I wanted a feed view on the side and then I just wanted a calendar and within that calendar I can pretty much edit anything that way I can see here's the calendar here are the days here's what's approved here's what's not here's what needs revision here's what doesn't and then on the side be able to see okay what is this feed looking like and those are really the two things so when i went and searched i searched for a lot of templates and stuff and they were just way more complicated than they needed to be at least for me and this could change this is just what i'm doing right now with local smaller businesses and this seems to be working the best i'm just going to show you how you can just do it yourself because it's pretty easy and you can customize it however you want and the best part is that it is free if you are going to upload videos and bigger files you're going to have to pay for that but it's pretty inexpensive this has been such a game changer it's so easy i can design it but the biggest thing is that it's simple keeping everything very simple is very important when you're a social media manager and even managing your own social media because things can get really complicated and busy very very quick and so that's one of my favorite things about notion is you can make it as complicated as you want as simple as you want and need it to be i am going to just go through it with you guys let's get into it so i'm going to show you how you can create a content calendar that looks just like this so here's our new blank page so what i'm going to do is content content calendar okay um and up here you can add a cover whatever you want you can change it to the color or the cover or whatever so we'll do this this is cute okay social media management okay perfect the two things that i like having is the feed view on the side and then the calendar so that's what we're going to do so you're going to click this plus and we're going to scroll all the way down until we see um two columns so it's pretty far down there so just select that okay and you'll see here that that's the second column so right here i'm going to do feed view for now okay and then on the second column select this plus and we're going to scroll down until we see content or excuse me until we see calendar so i think i passed it i always pass it okay calendar view okay so we select that and now there's a calendar okay you can actually drag these out too and then even make this side a little bit smaller. That way the calendar is a little bit bigger than the feed view, okay? So then I'm just gonna title this Small Business. Okay, also it's Halloween, so that's fun. Happy Halloween. I don't know what day it is for you, but it will automatically show the day, which is awesome. So let's say I already have content all planned out, and let's say I'm just posting three times a week, so Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So what you do is to add content is you click this little plus, add item, and then I can label it. So let's say this business is like a cake shop, right? So this is like purple cake, all right? And then I can put the caption. So loving this purple cake. Okay, so that's really, really nice so I can just put the caption here usually I'll make it bold so 
then they know it's like the caption and then yeah do whatever you want you can add some little mochis whatever okay okay so up here this is the important part so we have the date and then some tags so if you want to edit these properties this is what you're going to do so you click these six little dots and you do edit property okay and right here we're going to do status and then this is a multi-select i want to make this a select because this is going to be the status of like is this approved not approved all that stuff and then you just add um, waiting for approval and then you have um, approved a revision needed and then I usually do like posted um, all that stuff and then I usually will move these just by dragging and then approved I like to make green posted I like to do blue and then revision I like to do red and then waiting for approvals that so that's pretty cool okay and then you select enter and as you can see here there you go you can select whichever one it is okay the next property that I want is to actually upload the file so like if this is a reel for example right I want to upload that reel so that way the client can go in and click it and see it okay so I'm gonna scroll down until I see files and media and then you just click enter okay and then right here you can see that you can upload again for in the free version you can't upload like super big files i think it's only maybe one picture but you can embed a link so if you have a link to like canva or google drive that works too if you just want to do it for free otherwise if you just want it all there you can pay for it so that's pretty awesome okay um so yeah so you just choose the file i have this cute little bag it's not a purple cake but i'm just showing you how it works okay and then you can even download it or whatever okay so there's that the next thing that i like to do is i like to label what kind of content this is so again i do select content type and then i can do real um, carousel story right and you can change the colors um, and then you can even scroll you know move these around okay so let's say it's a carousel right so I select carousel okay so that's basically it and then if they have any comments or anything fix this <laughs> then you can do that and usually the other person will get a notification if they have the app downloaded on their phone yeah so that's how that works okay so now we're going to click out of this and you'll notice that i can't really tell if this is approved or not so what you can do is you can click these three little dots and then you're going to click properties and then you can show whichever one so you can show the content type you can show the date, which that doesn't really make sense because it's already on the calendar. You can show the file, which I mean, it's too small, um, but especially the status. And I love this part. So I usually am just doing the status. Um, oh, that was the other thing. So another property that you can do is multi-select. So if you're cross multiplying on different platforms, this is a great one. So if I'm doing TikTok, right and then i'm doing instagram and then maybe like pinterest i spent spelled that wrong Pin, pinterest okay and then that way i can select as many as i want okay so that's really nice too um and again you can make that visible or not Okay, so it's really, really nice in that way. So yeah, so now when I'm going through content, I go on this calendar, 
I can see, oh, it's approved, or, you know, this needs revision, or whatever it may be, okay? Just made a new page there. And then if you want to delete it, like I just accidentally made this, you right click and you just do delete. The other thing that is really helpful is up here you see calendar view. You can actually add a different view. So you click this plus sign and I like to do board. And then that way I can see, okay, this is revision, you know, needs revision. I can move it over to posted. I'm gonna make another, I'm gonna make a couple others actually, so blah blah and i'm just gonna do like waiting for approval Ooh, i don't know um posted so you can see it so then i click on board right so i can see okay for example this is here then i can see all of them that have need revision so i can just focus on that so i like having those two views this is just easy for me to keep track of everything and then once you know it's approved I can move it over here or whatever so yeah so that's how I use that okay so for feed view I am not very techy with this part and so I know there's a way to actually create like a feed view I don't know if it's through an embedded link or whatever I cannot figure it out so please let me know if you do but this is what I do and it still works it's still pretty simple so over here by feed view, you click the little plus, you scroll down to image, upload file, and then you just upload your feed view basically. And then that way, yeah, I just update that every month or however times. And I just use a Canva template. So that helps me like visualize everything. I know it's not the most ideal way to do this. Um, so again, let me know if there's a better way to do it. But that's pretty much it. And then once you're done and it's all ready, you just click share. And then you can email, you just submit someone's email and or copy the link and your client can just go in and it's pretty awesome. I'm loving this way to plan out content. It makes planning out content so easy. It's really easy for them because they're able to approve everything and it takes off a lot of stress for me and for them okay so that concludes the end of this video as you can see the sun is coming out it's been like really gloomy which is actually perfect for halloween so i love it let me know if this was helpful in any way and again i'm still learning so let me know if there are any tips and tricks that you know about notion that has helped you with your content calendar and let me know if you have any other additional questions about content creation clients social media management all that stuff i love talking about this stuff i love doing it and i'll talk to you next week bye